be more thrilled to tell you about this cookbook that is already so popular. 600 of these books are gone. I anticipate lots of happy dances because if this food tastes as good as it smells, we're going to wreck the whole table. Many of you know the gorgeous Kimberly Schlappman. She is a member of Little Big Town, and if you're a country music lover, she is no stranger to you. This summer, she's going to be hosting her own cooking show on the Cooking Channel, you smart lady, you. She is born and raised in Georgia. She knows southern food like nobody's business. She's been cooking since she was knee-high to a grasshopper. Let's welcome her in and get busy eating. Southern style. Hello there. Hi, David. I'm so happy to I am spend so this day with you. I am so thrilled to spend some time with you. Thank we are you. such big fans. Thank you. This is very such much. a big, big day. And who knew that this gorgeous lady who sings like a songbird could also cook like nobody's <laughs> business? This is the food you grew up on. This is the food. As long as I've been singing and talking, I've been stirring a pot. Oh, and I love this it. This is what my mama and my grandmothers taught me, and we decided to put it all in a book. Well, let's do it. And everything about this is Southern. There are 105 recipes, yeah. is that right? Mm -hmm. There are over 100 color photos in the book. I'm going to show you the book here shortly. But we are so excited about this. Mm -hmm. I'm talking chicken fried steak with Ooh. a white pan gravy. Yes. Oh, my yep. word. These are hush puppies. Yes. And is this chicken and dumplings? That's chicken and dumplings, yes. That's my way. My mama makes hers, and then I decide to put my own little twist on my may, mama's. May I try? Now, tell Please. me, what's your little twist? Okay, so I put veggies in mine. Okay. Carrots, celery, and also add, I like a little spice, David. Okay. So I add a little jalapeno in there. You got a little jalapeno a little up in jalapeno. there. All right. <laughs> mm. 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 Yay. Okay. Happy dance. Happy dance. That's a southern happy you. dance. Get I it. Practiced. Get it. I get practiced. it. Get it. She's good. She's good. <laughs> all right. We are super busy. Tell me about this glazed apple cake. This looks amazing for autumn and oh my word. This so is so crazy. yummy. What you do is when it comes out of the oven hot, you poke some holes in it or you get your youngin to poke holes in it and then you put the glaze over <laughs> the top. It. Get your youngins to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you put the glaze over the top. My grandmother used to make these when I was away at college and she would send me home with one every time I went back to school. Oh my word. I need to show you all the inside of this book. It is gorgeous. Congratulations. Thank you. This is Kimberly's very first book. Look at these beautiful colors photos you guys oh my word there's that pretty lady but you're also going to see this gorgeous <laughs> food so many delicious recipes easy to follow onion rings salads appetizers main dishes desserts so many delicious things you're going to love about this book everything you've loved about her in little big town this is really kind of a journal of your life as well as your your journey through food isn't it it is it's like a memoir it's stories of growing up and my family it's stories of my life on the road with little big town my life at home with my hubby and my little girl can we talk about your fried chicken because this fried chicken i have to admit i snuck a piece this morning oh that makes me happy it was <laughs> so good you guys from the crust to the meat you brine this all night long yes, don't you this is for my grandmother Bramley. Hey, Grandmother, happy Mother's Day. Um, she brines it all night long in the refrigerator in a little salt bath, and that's the secret. And then she cooks it up, and it's perfection. It's juicy and yummy and crunchy. And I have a little bite-sized pieces here. I'm going to mm. tear it up. Mmm. 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 Now mm. that's watering. Mm. We used to go to my grandmother's. Mm -hmm. and, oh, we're dancing again. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That is Sunday afternoon after church, right? Baby That's girl, that is so good. Thank you. Oh, my word. The, the crust is crazy. And the, you can taste that salt brine all the way through the meat. Yes. It, it just is so good. It makes it tender, moist, crunchy. Because we've all had fried chicken where all the flavor was in the skin. Yes. And it wasn't in the meat. That's right. You took care of it. Yes, sir. Girls, on it. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, let me tell you, we are super busy. How many books are gone now? 1,400 books are gone. We've got, we've got to do mac and cheese. I'm about oh, to lose my mind. Yes. What This is like a grown-up mac and cheese. It's got smoked cheese in it mm. and fancy little cavatappi noodles. Can I? Can please, I? Okay. please, please. Okay. I want you to have this. This is my hubby's favorite. He's a mac and cheese kind of man. Well, he and I have that in common. <laughs> there you go. All right, my there dear. There goes the cheese over the side. So it's a smoky cheese. It's smoked gouda. Oh, I love smoked gouda. Yes, I know. I it, use that in my mac and cheese. I love any kind mm. of smoked cheese. Mm. Yes. Come here to me. Oh. That is just about the best thing in the whole world. That this makes is me so crazy. Happy. Thank oh you. my gosh, it's so good. Yay! And it's so creamy. And it's got on top panko breadcrumbs, mm -hmm. and if you want to go a little healthier, you can use wheat. 
panko bread okay. crumbs okay. also. And if you're not a fan of bread crumbs on top, you can leave them off, I would you assume. You leave them off. 1,600 books are gone now. <laughs> We're very, very busy on the phone lines. Can we talk about cherry cola cake? Oh, can we ever? Okay, this is so easy. You start with a devil's food cake mix, and then you chop up some cherries, and we got cherry coke in there, cherry cola in there. Right. Um, and then you can slice up fresh cherries and put them on top. My little girl loves this one because she can chop up her own cherries. And in our band, <laughs> Jimmy, sweet little beautiful brunette man, uh -huh. is um, this is his favorite. Mm. So. Hi, Jimmy. Mm. Hi, Karen. Hi, Phil. It's Phillip. so good. <laughs> it's chocolate and cherry. And what is that frosting? That is just madness. Oh, it's marshmallow cream. A little. Oh, yeah. wow. It's so good. Mm. Mm. Oh, good. Oh, cherry, cherries whipped up in there in the icing. 1,800 books are now gone. We do not have a lot of these to go around. And I'll tell you, this is a busy lady between her busy home mm -hmm. life, her busy life with Little Big Town, and now her new cooking show this summer. We were lucky to even get you for a day. Oh, I'm so This happy. book is flying, you guys. Mm -hmm. And old Gussie is a southern term. Yes. I, can, I remember my grandmother, used to, she, she, would, she would say, oh, Gussie, me, this is good. Oh, that, that means it's good, right? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Gu oh, Gussie means, oh, my goodness, oh, my word. Oh, it my can, stars. Oh, my stars. <laughs> my mama would always say, oh, my stars and garters. I do that um, too. Now, this is your chicken fried steak yes. with the white pan gravy. Yes. Tell me about that. All right, this is so easy too. You just want to season your steaks up, get them in a little flour, an egg, um, get them in a hot pan. Then, you know, you take those steaks out, mm -hmm. you scrape all those goodies off the bottom of the, the bits. pan. The bits yes. on the bottom the of the pan. The bits on the bottom. And what I love about this gravy, I add milk, but also evaporated milk, which makes it so rich, just mm. like my granny did. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh, thank you. And the gravy is just the perfect top for that crunchy, crunchy coating on the yes. steak. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is flying. These hush puppies, 2,500 books are now gone. These oh. hush puppies, tell me about these. Okay, these there again, I got flour and cornmeal in there, so it keeps them really light. Also jalapenos there again, I'm a spicy girl. <laughs> my papa would go out fishing when I was a kid, and my, my grandmother would cook up these hush puppies, and mm, it mm. takes me back. Oh my, so good. You can Thank serve these you. with fried chicken. You can serve these with anything. You can, and you can serve them at a party on an hors d'oeuvre tray with some little uh, toothpicks, and people can just eat them as finger food. What is this down there in that little in that little container right there? That's coconut pudding. Oh, coconut yeah. pudding, Mary. Coconut pudding. That's some coconut pudding. Mm. <laughs> so on the bottom of it is pound cake. You can make your pound cake, you can buy your pound cake, and you crumble it up in the bottom, and then you make this yummy, delicious coconut pudding, pour oh on the top. Then you whip you up some egg whites some and make sugar, a meringue. Make meringue. Yeah. Uh -huh. Throw it in the oven and oh! Oh, y'all need to stop. No, 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 no. <laughs> happy dance! Here I go. Coconut pudding, happy dance! Wow! <laughs> Kimberly, you are a rock star. Aww. I mean, not just on stage, in the kitchen, my friend. Thank you. Thank this you.